For Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Halima Frost. Today I'm speaking with South African Institute of Welding Certification CEO, Herman Potgieter, regarding the uptake of technology in the welding sector, as well as its plans for the future. Herman, with the fast track of automation and technology owing to the global pandemic, have you seen an increase in robots taking the job of the welder? There will always be a place for, for robots and robotic welding in the industry. And in certain manufacturing areas where repetition welding takes place as uh, the use of a robot and automation and welding increase, the, the welding will increase substantially. And for, uh, for instance, the motor industry, the, the quality of welds that you're going to get, um, a repetition welds, they're, they're good, they're good. So, but it will never, never take the place of a welder. There's a significant role in implementation of a better, better technology and substituting physical welders in some instances take place. And as I mentioned, in the motor industry, in the normal repetition uh, of, of welds in a workshop, not in, in the, the, the on site, in a workshop, that will be. And that's where the robots can, can play a, a major role. Herman, are there any new notable technologies that can help the welder increase on accuracy and the quality of a weld? All the time, I think the, 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 the welding equipment manufacturers are constantly busy investigating, updating, implementing of new technology, ensuring that the welding that will be produced will comply fully with the international standards and everybody wants to be the, the, the forerunner for in, in, in his sector and in his business. And um, the virtual reality welding, this is the new technology that we, that we sit with. This is where a welder can basically, without actual doing a, a real weld and perform a weldment, you will be able to see and you will see and, and with, with virtual reality, you will see the weld that you basically performed on and what you did. And you will get a good idea. You can then also then simulate these positions in areas where you want to, 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 to use it, especially in, 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 you know, in difficult circumstances where you sit with very narrow spaces and that sort of thing, so that you can teach and upskill yourself to be able to, 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 to um, obtain the, the, the necessary skill to do that uh, specific weld. So the virtual uh, welding and uh, the, the training that we're going to do is it's one of the, the latest technologies, and I think that's one of the, the better technologies in the, in the world at this stage. That was Herman Portgieter, South African Institute of Welding Certification CEO.